welcome to Rosie Crafted Colours. Today I'm bringing you um, the unboxing and my little play around with um, the scroller box from March. Um, I've had this for about a week or so now so it would have been nice to have done this earlier but I, I just haven't had the time. So yeah, it's already been opened. Me and my daughter always um, open this together. Um, everything usually comes lovely wrapped up in tissue paper but the tissue paper is gone and so is the sweet that came with it. My daughter always has the sweet. So here we go. We have the March Scholars Zine as always and there's information on what is in there. There's information about the artist as always. There's information on ways to use the materials that were given. There's also always a gallery of past works. So this is from January 2021's box. And these are the kind of things that people came up with, which is really nice to see. And my cats are playing. So if you can hear any noise, it's them playing. So here's a little bit more about the markers that are in the book. And that is the scroller zine. We have some A5 drawing paper, which is 250 GSM. It's uncoated and there are 12 sheets very nice quality paper. I'm going to take a sheet out because we are going to use it to um, swatch what we have. So here we have uh, our little, it's sort of like a little bookmark and it's a little bit of, um, it tells you a little bit about what we have and there is always a scroller challenge and this month's scroller challenge is leading lines. So if you're going to be making some art that's what they want you to sort of try and as a challenge draw something with. So right, oh yeah, before I do that, we have our scroll box sticker, which is, um, which shows you like a little snippet of the artwork. It's always got something to do with the artwork. I've just dropped the picture, just one moment. And here we have our artist's work for this month. Very crazy design, incredibly um, creative and very different. It's like an old man that's a bee but he has two eyes on one side. Very strange. But this is from Shane Vorhaben, and he is on Instagram under S. Vorhaben. So if you want to find him um, and look at more of his work, you can do that, definitely do that. Right, so we have our little menu, as I said, and then we have our supplies. I'm just gonna put the box to one side out the way. We don't need that on the table, taking up space. So our first, um, things we come up with our material list is we have these Faber Castell Pit Artist Pens. They are all broad um, sized and our first one is Scarlet Red. So let's have a look at that. Oh, it's like a coral. It's like a, yeah. These are water resistance pens once they're dried. Um, I believe they are light fast. Let me just see if it says on there. Yeah, they are India ink, so they're waterproof and it says they have maximum light fastness and they are acid free. So if you use them in like things like scrapbooks, they won't like damage photos. This colour is sky blue. That's a nice colour. I really like that colour. I don't think the scarlet colour is particularly scarlet. I think that's more of a coral. Um, May green we have. Oh yeah, that's a nice bold colour. Those colours are beautiful, aren't they? They look great together. So you can get different um, thicknesses with these pens. You can use them in different ways. I'm wondering if they are going to, sh um, they're not water-based, but I wonder if that's how they'll pave on the paper. Maybe they might peel the paper. So we have a uni pin brush pen and it is a light gray. Oh, that's a nice gray. That fits in with the other colors, doesn't it? Really nicely. Oh, look how tiny you can get a, a mark. You can get really tiny marks. Yeah, so that is water and fade resistant. Resistant. It's a pigment ink. We then have a Uniball um, Signo Gel Stick in black. So yeah, nice, just your average sort of gel pen. Nothing too exciting. We then have a Unipin fine liner in 1.0, which is quite. I always thought 1.0. Oh no, it's 10. Why does it say 10 on there, but 1.0 on there? 1.0 isn't usually that thick, I don't think. Um, 
maybe it is maybe i'm just wrong but yeah great pen nice and thick quite surprised how thick it is it does say 10 on here though i wonder if it's um a 10 or 1.0 very thick and then we have a derwin 2b graphic pencil just your average sort of pencil you can get some shading and all those things so that is our supplies i have decided on a picture already i decided on choosing carla magana's um retro deco book this is um one of her more recent books i think it came out last year let me just still check it came out 2020 yeah and i have chosen this page to try our materials out on and have some fun with so i have put blotter paper behind to make sure that i'm not going to get any marks through so let's have a little bit of fun um so yeah i think it's going to be a very cool we've got a lot of fun colors here so let me have a little think what are we going to do with her skin are we going to use the pencil to do her skin shaded i think that would be the best idea so i'm gonna go and get the coral and i think the coral i am going to use for her lips very um god it looks very orange it looks much redder on the page on this page than it does on the um other paper i feel like that's a huge difference of colour. So I'm going to be really careful not to go over these little um, catch lights on her lips because um, I don't have a white gel pen and I, I want them to remain white. So, yeah, it's a bit like using a water based pen, I would say. You can, there's probably going to be a bit of a texture with these pens, I think. I can feel the paper. Um, moving so i think I'd, I'd get pulling if i if i do too much with that pen um on the paper i think her crystal should be a beautiful green and i'm going to try and leave some bits like it's a shine so yeah yeah i think these pens are gonna are not going to work so great on this paper still quite fun to have a go with them Gonna use these blues to do this bit here. Just gonna have fun with the colours that I've got because they don't have a huge amount of colours. So I might as well have fun with what I have. Um, I'm gonna do all her makeup blue. Yeah, you can see like this, these pens aren't made for this kind of paper. They're not really made for this paper. I'd have been better off with a different type of paper. This is just Amazon print sort of paper. It's like printer paper. So yeah, it is pulling up the page a little bit, but that's fine with me. I don't mind. So now um, I think I want to bring this pencil. I bought a sharpener with me because it didn't have a sharpener in the pack. This sharpener is really good. My friend sent it me. It's a swordfish triple pencil sharpener and... It has a jumbo section, a bit for coloured pencils and a bit for um, graphite pencils. It's really, really good. You have like a 11 millimeter, eight millimeter and 16 millimeter sharpener. Very good sharpener. And it's purple, <laughs> which is my one of my favorite colors. So let's see if we can get a little bit of shading. Let's try, try that. Um, yeah. try and give her she's gonna look odd this one I think she's gonna look strange my two um two of my cats are having a little bit of a play fight it's my youngest cat Dotty and my older cat my male cat Sizzles who's one of my old cats I have two elderly cats <laughs> and they're like play fighting so I'm going to come up over her like eye eyelids because really that bit would be, I'm just going to turn the page like you to make it easy for me. This bit would be hid, hooded, you know, like a bit where your eyelid goes in. So maybe I can get the shaded nice. Maybe that at least would look nice on this page. There we go. I'm not sure. We'll see if it works in the long run. 
I love um, Scroller Box. It's really fun to play around with with these. I haven't looked how much these materials cost. So what I'll do is, hopefully if I remember, I'll have a little look online. I'll see how much they cost and I'll put it in the description how much those materials cost on their own. Um, in the UK, it's £15 for Scroller Box and it is a free um, postage or shipping, um, depending on what you call it, yeah, within the UK, which is really good. I'm not sure what the postage is to um, other countries. It might be, it could be quite high, I suppose. I know that people in America get their box a little bit after we get ours. Obviously, we get ours really quickly in the UK because it's only been sent from here, but yeah. I still think it's a very good quality box. You always get um, more than the, the boxes cost. The worth is always more. And I've been a scroller box um, subscriber for a good few years now. Maybe three. Maybe three years is, is probably about it. But yeah, I'm, I, I really enjoy scroller box. Me and my daughter really enjoy our scroller boxes we always make art with them we meant to take it in turn with who has the sweet but somehow she always ends up with the sweet <laughs> it wouldn't be that way if a drumstick came with it though trust me i love drumstick lollies it would not happen if one of those came i would wrestle her for that <laughs> and i would win because <laughs> they're my favorite so here we go, a little bit of shading. Um, I think it's quite fun to colour pages with graphite pencils. I've done it once before because of a scroller box and I really enjoyed it. And I haven't done it again and I, I think I should. I'm going to give her like the idea that she has like a little bit of a rounding for the chin there. I'm gonna... I think if I go quite dark with the shading, it could almost be like a silhouette maybe yeah i really do enjoy these scroller boxes and i'm really enjoying doing these videos where i'm having fun with the scroller box with you um yeah i had a little um comment it wasn't it was a nice comment um wasn't horrible i didn't take it to heart or anything it was it sounded a bit like I was going to say something bad. I had a comment from somebody and they were sort of suggesting that when I'm doing videos, maybe I should um, colour a little bit on screen and then colour the rest off screen and come back. Um, yeah, that's the only time that's been suggested to me. Um, I wasn't sure how to do those my videos really I'm still not sure I know a lot of people do like to see me color completely on screen they enjoy having me as company I enjoy the same thing from other colorists so I was trying to sort of not imitate other people but I was trying to think about what I enjoy to watch and I really enjoy watching other colorists color in real time so I apologize if my videos are a little bit um, too long for you you know um, I apologize for that maybe in the future I will maybe do a, a sort of uh, what's the word like a combination of those sign of videos like maybe sometimes I'll do um, full length kind of videos where I'm coloring in real time maybe sometimes I'll go away I have been thinking about doing some speed colours. Um, I don't really know how to do those. Um, I, I'm, my video, I only record on my phone um, and I have editing software that I've paid for on my phone to help edit my videos slightly. But I don't really know the full extent of what I can do with my editing software. So yeah, that'll be something be quite fun to find out and maybe I could do that with that ed editing software I like this like this I think it looks really cool I think she looks really like severe and like it. it suits her it's great how quickly you can get like um I'm just gonna like use my finger to just to soften some of that on the outsides 
I don't want it to be too harsh. Should I give her like a nose contour? Bring this round a little. Yeah, so I apologise if sometimes you feel like my videos are too long. Maybe another way for me to do it would be to put um, like a timestamp on the video so that you can see when um, the bit where I show you the end product is instead of you having to watch the whole thing if that's not what you're into. Um, yeah, I am happy to take on people's um, like criticisms, that's fine. Um, I understand we all don't like the same thing, so yeah. Um, like um, I was somebody gave me some constructive criticism about my lighting, and I found that really thankful. I was thankful for that. My nighttime lighting, when I did have to film a nighttime video, was bad. So I did um get myself a new light, which made those videos better. Um, yeah. So I don't mind doing little things like that. Uh, like making little changes if it's going to make things better for you and um, but as again this this isn't a job this is just something I enjoy doing and I just wanted to share my love of coloring with other people Um I watch so many colorists I've got so many videos to watch because as as I've been quite um, vocal about I've been through a little bit of a low point with my bipolar so um, I've, I've sort of been a little bit not closed myself off, just not done all the things that I usually do. I haven't had as much, um, with things like depression and bipolar, you can get to this point where you don't want to do the things you usually do. Um, uh, like you don't have the will sometimes to do things that you usually do and I've got loads of videos to watch off beautiful YouTubers that I watch I really enjoy watching YouTube videos by my the beautiful people I subscribe to so I do have quite a few to catch up with from some of my favorite YouTubers um so I'm gonna have a nice self-care day I think this week when my daughter goes back to school I'm gonna have a self-care day where I watch lots of lovely colouring videos and I do some colouring um while watching them because that is one of my favourite things to do is to watch my favourite YouTubers and to colour at the same time while I'm sort of spending time with them if that makes any sense so yeah I'm going to enjoy doing that this week so I'm going to use this coral for her hair. I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm trying to be quite careful because if I'm scrubbing too much, it's going to bring up the um, the paper. The paper is textured, getting like, you feel the texture of the paper coming up when, I think you call it pilling when the paper does that. You can feel that coming up with the, with the pens swashing over them. So I'm trying not to do too much like, like that. So I'm trying to leave, leave little bits out because I will do those as um, different colours in her hair. I think I might do grey in her hair or I might save the grey for these sort of looks like... Um, what do they look like? They look like, like a crown or something, don't they? So I might leave the grey for that. I love these colours though. I like them better on that paper because the the pink is more coral and I think that's a nicer shade than this. I think it works with the other colours a bit better but the colours do look a little bit deeper on this paper than they do on the other paper. Right, so that is her like uh, bangs or fringe, wherever you come, depending on what you call them. There we go. Um... Yeah, kind of looking like the American flag because <laughs> of the red and white stripes. <laughs> there is a really good page in here that definitely has to be like the American flag because <laughs> it, it just looks like it already. Like, I think that's what Carla's um, inspiration might have been for that page. This will be my first page in this book. <laughs> A lovely book. I was really kindly sent some Carla Magana books by a wonderful, a wonderfully kind um, subscriber and 
follow her on Instagram. Um, I don't know if she wants to be known, everyone to know who it was. So I'm not going to say her name until I get permission to. But yeah, thank you so much to her for that. That's really kind. Um, it's so kind of anyone to decide to do that, to send me something. Whether you're someone from a colouring book company who is sending me a colouring book or you are somebody who is a subscriber or a friend and you are sending me um, little bits. That is so kind of you and I really truly appreciate it. Um, I'm actually blown away by it when, when it's happened to me. I'm like, what? I just don't understand, you know. But yeah, thank you so much. Um, it's really kind and it's not something you have to do. So please don't feel like you have to. Um, you being here is enough to watch my video. That is enough. Yeah, this colour. I'm not keen on this colour as much as I was when it was on the other page. I liked it more when it looked coral. More than this sort of red colour. Like an orangey red, isn't it? Not as nice. So I'm just leaving sections um, white. Just so that I can put another colour in there. Yeah, that is looking okay, I think. I'm trying to not to take too much time. I don't want to keep you too long and bore you. <laughs> I don't want to bore anybody. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'll do with these background bits. I don't know what I'll do with those yet. Um, I like the way I've done the skin. I wish I'd left the little catch light on a nose white, <laughs> but I accidentally went over with the with the pencil. I accidentally shaded it too. Not really a problem. Doesn't really matter. But I think it's looking quite nice. It's a bit different from how I'd usually colour because I'm quite new to markers still. I've I've done a few pages with markers recently. I did like the Carla Magana let's book with markers um i'm still quite new to them but i'm still just using them as marker base so this is a bit different for me using them in this way and also because these pens aren't made for this paper the effect is slightly different i think these pens need a better quality of paper really So, yeah, I think that looks okay. It's a beautiful day out today. It's sunshiny in the UK at the moment. My daughter has gone out to play football um, as part of her exercise during lockdown. And she's met, met one friend to play socially distanced um, football. <laughs> so she's out exercising and enjoying the sun, which is lovely. It's so nice to allow her to be able to go out. There was so much time when she wasn't allowed to really do much. And, you know, I had huge anxiety about what was going on in the world. So I think I was a little bit more... What's the word? I can't think of the word. A little bit more nervous than I could have been. Maybe I was stuck to the rules more than I needed to. I was frightened to do things. Um, yeah, so it's nice to see her going out because she hasn't really had the chance to go out for quite a long time. So it's nice to see her having those freedoms again. You know, she spent most of her time with her mum for the last year. It's It's good for her to get out and about. It really is. I like to see her getting a bit of freedom again. So she's back at school this week as well on Monday. Which is nice. Nice for her. Back to seeing her friends and things. Which I really, I think she really needed. And I think all the children needed that. They needed to be able to get back into school because school is so important to children. Not just educationally. But also, um, 
socially, school is quite a social place for children as well. You know, it's not just education. It, there's a lot more to school than education. So, yeah, I'm glad she's she's back at school and school hasn't suddenly closed again. I was worried that it would just close again and we'd be back to square one, back to home learning and all those things. I think all parents, all the parents whose children have been homeschooled were probably worrying the same thing, you know, that everything would just close down again and it was, you know, it wouldn't last. But yeah, this is looking all right. Obviously, as I said, it's like using um, proper felt it pens. That's what it feels like. Do you know, like the, the felt it pens you had as a child? Of those, um, I will say, I'm not keen on these. I'm not. Um, but if at the end I have a picture that I can be somewhat proud of, it doesn't matter that I didn't really like the pens very much. That's part of the fun of doing having these um, subscription boxes. Um, you try loads of different things and sometimes you like them and other times you dislike them and that is fine. You know, we're not going to like everything that is sent through, the, through these subscriptions. Do you know, other people might get these pens and love them and be like, I don't know why you're moaning about them. They're brilliant and they probably work really well on that paper. Um, it's just that I am a colourist and I want to use them the way a colourist might use these pens and materials. So, but the good thing is I now know I don't want to own these pens. So I don't, I'm not going to like buy them. I'm not going to buy them thinking they're going to be something I really want. So that's good. I think that's good. It's good to know what you don't want as well as what you do want. Because I am a supply hoarder. I love supplies, art supplies. So um, I'd definitely be the kind of person that'd be like, well, I really want to own those. And then I'd buy them, I'd be disappointed. And I'd, you know, I hate to be disappointed when I've bought supplies. It feels like I haven't bought these because it's part of this subscription. And while I have paid for them, um, that's it doesn't feel like um, I paid out a lot of money for them, I didn't choose them, I haven't got loads of them to use when I don't want to use them. I might use them again, I might use them on different paper and I might find on different paper I like them, you never know. Or I might use them a different way, I might just use them to do things like bits of backgrounds, like doing uh, marks on the paper and things, not so much for what I'm using it for now, which is like flat colouring because um, it doesn't like this paper. Maybe on other paper it would work nicely. Um, trying to think what other paper you could use these on. What I think it needs that very smooth, shiny paper that's like this kind of paper. I think it needs that kind of paper, to be honest. She looks good with red hair, though, I must admit. Even if I don't like the pens, I think her hair suits her. Either way, I've had fun doing this, whether I'm a fan of these pens or not. There's probably loads of things you could do with these as well, with them being India ink. There's probably loads of techniques you could use with them. You need to get different, um, different like uh, effects. India ink is like that ink you get in the, like the, the ink pots, uh, Windsor and Newton do them I think, and you use like a metal, uh, like nibbed pen to use them, or you know paintbrushes, so it is cool that they would be like waterproof after. Maybe they'd be really good for bullet journaling, for people that do bullet journaling. journaling. I think they would be. I think they'd work really well for that. You know, for when you've like wrote the day of the week and then you just want to do a swash of colour through it. That would really work, I believe. And there we go. I think I'm almost done with this red. I think that will be all the hair that I'm going to colour red, I think. Is there any more that I want to colour red? No. 
so her the rest of her hair I think I was gonna go grey but I'm gonna do her jewellery grey do we do blue do we go crazy and do green no I'm gonna go for this blue and do this like neck thing that she's wearing I want to do it in stripes um, I'm going to do it in black and blue stripes. There we go. Wow, it does look very like American flag right now. <laughs> this picture. All I need is some nice gold stars. <laughs> now, I think I'm going to use the gel pen the black gel pen to colour in these bits here that's a nice gel pen it would have been fun to have all of these gel pens all these colours and then it would have been like the colours would have been more like intense and they'd have worked on the paper better because gel pens work nicely on this paper but yeah you get what you're given can't always get what you want. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks nice. There we go. I'd love a white gel pen. That would be nice. That'd be the cherry on the top. <laughs> Having a little white gel pen just to get the kind of effect I want. There we go. I used to do like catch lights and things like that. That would be fun. And there is her weird, like, neck thing she's wearing. And then I'm going to just go all the way across here. I'm just going to colour this back bit here of her hair with the red, like it's red in shadow. Her Ronald McDonald red hair. McDonald's red. <laughs> her McDonald red hair. Right, so the rest of her hair, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to go for doing the. Uh, I'm just going to pick up some blue there where I've missed some. Probably going to. Um, do the grey now and do these bits. Um, oh, these work a bit nicer on the paper. They still feel very watery and they get in the texture. This still gets the texture. You can see you're going to see patchiness with this on this paper. It's not going to look great. Let's be honest. This isn't going to look great. It isn't for this paper, definitely not, but at least I've I've tried. That's that's the main thing. I've I've tried to do a picture with them. I've been so used to having to go with alcohol markers that I have no idea how like more watery based pens work on um this kind of paper. Like I'm so used to alcohol markers now. And the way they sit on the paper is so beautiful and flat that this is like almost like a surprise to me. <laughs> yeah, it's very different from using alcohol markers. I won't say at the end this is going to be one of my favourite pictures. I don't think it will be. Um, now I need to do this bit of her headdress. I think I'll probably use the black to pick up some shading and things on these once it's once the pen is dry. I need to do her hair. I think I might go for go crazy and just do the green. I think that could look cool doing the green in her hair. She's got like her green gems, which is cool. Yeah, it's like using water-based pens. You get in those marks that you get off water-based pens when you uh, colour over your own, like these patchiness that you get with water-based pens. I'm getting that. 
doesn't look good to be honest I'd love to go over it with like a nice silver gel pen and you know make it all sparkly and beautiful I think I've definitely chosen the wrong kind of paper for these pens maybe they'd work better on a different type of paper but I wanted a more simple style picture and the paper that I think might work better on this the pages aren't very simple take me a long time to color a picture with them now here there's some weird stuff going on here this is definitely the silver stuff that's definitely the silver there we go Uh, well, like grey, not silver, isn't it? It's like a it's like school pant grey. <laughs> yeah. We didn't like come here for great colouring today, did we? <laughs> I hope you didn't. You're not getting it. <laughs> you're getting somebody struggling with materials that they don't usually use <laughs> right i'm gonna use that green to do her hair green and red hair why not i really like this green that's a that's a green after my own heart oh gosh i've gone over i've gone over the red Ugh. maybe i should do some parts like that then seeing as i've gone over like it's a shadowy bit. I need to be careful now because otherwise I'm going to end up colouring all the red in like that. I don't want to do that. I want to do some like it though. There we go. Oh gosh, this isn't pretty at all. Sorry if you came expecting something pretty today. <laughs> all you've got is me on the struggle bus. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I kind of hate this. I don't like felt tip pens and this is what these are like to me. They're like felt tip pens but with a brush tip. Just like those cheap felt tip pens you get when you're a child and I bet these aren't cheap at all. But that, I think that is the paper. I think more than anything, I think on the right paper these would be nice. But they are not nice on this paper. I do not like them on this paper at all. Yeah, this is not fun. <laughs> it's not pretty. Oh, I don't like this page. Maybe I'll feel differently at the end. I doubt it though. <laughs> I doubt I'll feel different. I think I'll just feel the same. I doubt I'd feel like, oh, it's really pretty now that I've finished it. I think I'm still gonna think it looks kind of ugly. I do like the face. I like the shaded face. I will be honest and say that. I do like that. Um, that bit looks really cool, I think. It's different. These would be really good for people that like cal calligraphy too. They've got that like fibre... Uh, fibre... Um, brush tip that is really good for people that like calligraphy. I don't do calligraphy, but I think they'd work for that. And, you know, for that fancy, beautiful writing that some people can just do that is so beautiful. I think they'd be great for that. 
So if you're into that, these pens would be brilliant for that. They would be. I think using these on the page for marks instead of colouring would, would have worked better for this page. So maybe if I'd used it to do lines and dashes and coloured it in that way, instead of doing actual flat colouring or, you know, doing pointillism with, with the pens instead, could have worked a lot better than the way I've used them. So there is that to consider. They could be used in a different way. Um, I'll be honest, I thought they were going to work really well on this paper and they haven't, you know, that's honest. And as I've said, I'm always going to be honest. And not every scroller box is going to work out for me. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. I still post this on Instagram though. I'm one of those people that believe I should post my messes as well as my uh, pictures that I'm proud of. So I will post this on Instagram for everyone to see. The world can have a look. <laughs> I mean, I'm putting it on YouTube, but, you know, there's, that's just as allowing the world to see it as much as Instagram, isn't it? There we go. So, I do actually kind of like her green and red hair, it's kind of gross in a, it's kind of cool. <laughs> um, I like to have fun with my hair. I have um, I have colours in my hair. My hair's got purple in it at the moment. Um, it's purple and black and, and that. I like to have a little bit of fun with my hair. So, but I'm not sure I'd go for red and green because they're not colours that particularly are nice together, as this page will tell you. But I wanted it to, to be crazy, and it is definitely a crazy page. A very fun page. There we go. So I'm wondering what I can do to make this page look just a little better. I don't think it's looking very good at the moment. Um, I think if the pens were alcohol based, I think this page would look quite good. I think I'd like it. Um, I don't mind the crazy colour combination to be honest. So I think that could work if they were the right kind of pens. So yeah. Gonna just get these bits here. Makes me wonder what paper, if any of my colouring books that this uh, these pens would work on. It makes me wonder would they work on any others. Um, I'm trying to think what I have where the paper's slightly shiny. And um, I think that's what you need. Maybe the um, Alan Roberts mini Halloween ones because they're single sided. Is this bleeding through actually? Watercolor, water paint pens don't always bleed through. Alcohol markers always bleed through, but the water based ones, unless you really work in the page, they tend to stay on the side that you're colouring them on. Sorry if my head came into shock then. I'm, I'm trying to be mindful of that because a couple of my videos recently, you've had my head in shock quite a lot, which can't be very fun. You know, when you're trying to watch a video, to see my big head. So here we go, getting the last of the green coloured in. It's a strange colour scheme. It's like almost Christmassy. <laughs> Almost got a bit of Christmas vibes going on here. Yeah. It looks, <laughs> it's so funny. It doesn't look good at all. <laughs> it's not good. It's so patchy. It feels like using felt tip pens and I don't like them. I do not like these pens. As you can probably tell, I being quite vocal about the fact that I don't like them <laughs> but I'm not gonna like everything scroller box sent me I'm not I tend to like most of what they send me so yeah I'm really hoping for some pencils soon hoping they're gonna send me some nice pencils out sending that out to the world just so the world can know that that's what I want please universe get scroller box to send me 
some beautiful um, pencils out. I'd like some luminance <laughs> or some Holbeins. That would be really good. <laughs> now that would be priced out, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't think they could afford to put Holbeins in. Um, or, do you know, some Lyra Rembrandt, Rembrandt, Rem, ugh, Rembrandt pencils. I'd like to try some of those. I don't have any. I'd love to try them. So, yeah, just putting that out there, just so the universe can hear. I want some pencils for my colouring book. <laughs> love to try new pencils or some nice markers. That'd be nice. I don't really want any paint at the moment, but I'd be fine with that too. Right, so that is her hair done. It's not looking great, is it? Um, I'm going to... What am I going to do now? I want to do something about... Right. I think I'm going to line this with the... The black, the thick black I've got. These work fine on this paper. Fine liners work well on most papers um i found so they are pulling up the paper a little like you can see i've got a little bit of texture going on on my marker now um yeah probably would have been better with the gel pen doing this bit but i want to use every um supply on the page I want to be able to use everything and I don't really think I'll use this um, pigment liner for much else because it's a very thick one and I don't tend to use the really thick ones I don't think it's a zero a 1.0 this is more of a 10 it's very thick and um, it's like thick like a number eight so I, I find it hard to believe it's a 1.0 to be honest Unless I'm mixing up my sizes. Because it's very thick. There we go. <laughs> this page is awful. I've ruined this page. I really have. Oh well, it's just a page in a colouring book, as I always say. It's not like I'm, um, got loads of texture on there, loads of papers coming off. It's not like it's something special. It's only a page in a colouring book. Um, yeah. I'm trying to let go of the need for perfectionism, so this is probably going to work really well for me. Um that pursuit because I don't like this page and if I um I don't like how I've coloured this page and it was a page I really thought was pretty in this book so that's annoying but if I do upload this it means I am letting go of that perfection a little bit that I'm always striving for um which is a silly thing to strive for I believe so yeah there we go i do like her face i like i think i might do that more often use graphite to uh color a page because i do like it i think it works i think it works really well i actually like that a lot There we go. Not sure what I'm going to do for these bits. Do you know what? If it wasn't textured from the pens and things and the pens weren't good for this paper, then I believe I would like this page. I actually don't mind the colour combinations. I think it's quite fun. It's quite different. So I would like that. So... There is that to consider that I actually do quite like it. I don't have much of this blue, so should I put some more blue anywhere else or should I leave the blue? 
where it is. I don't know. Right. These bits don't really know what I'm doing with those bits. Um, what am I doing with them? What am I doing with them? Let's get some blue on there. There we go. I'm going to bring it onto this side too. So I'm going to just flip the book around because it just makes it a little bit easier for me to colour there. Sorry about flipping the book around the wrong way. I don't know if that's annoying or not. There we go. Am I going to do any more blue? Yeah, I think I should. I think I'll bring it up here. I think I'm very near to being done. I'm not sure what I'd do about the background with these supplies. So I might actually be nearly done. Maybe I'll find something to do with them. There we go. And I think I'm going to use that gel pen. I think it's the only thing that's going to work very well. There we go. I love the pencil bit, I will say. I, I mean, I really like that bit. Um, and I think it's something I might want to bring into some of my other colouring books is using some graphite pencil. I actually like that a lot. I think it could be quite cool to colour an entire page with graphite pencil, to be honest. I actually like that. She does look like a warrior though, I will say that. It's a messy page. It's definitely messy. Um, not my finest work at all. But I will say that is to do with the materials more than the picture or how I colour. Because I think if this was in the right materials, like if this was in uh, pencils or in... Uh, like gel pens or alcohol markers I think this would look very different even if I did it in the same colours I think it would look very different indeed so yeah there is that to think about with these boxes that maybe you don't get the best um, look at the end but you've done the best you could with the materials that you've been given and that could be said be a good thing and it's different I know I've used some things I don't usually use I'm not really probably going to use them again they're not for me and that's fine um those pens I do not like them I will not use them again <laughs> um none of these materials really speak to me in any way and this picture's a bit of a mess <laughs> But that's okay, that's okay. Like I said, it's okay to have messy pictures. It's okay to not have perfection. It's perfectly fine to have a bit of a picture that you don't like. Ugh, it's a big mess. It really is a big mess. There we go. Yeah, it looks okay, doesn't it? That's a bit of a mess, but it's okay. I wouldn't mind colouring this page again, but doing the same colour scheme, but with um, materials that I'm that are more suited to the page, you know, like using alcohol markers and things, I think it would turn out very different. There 
Yeah, I think it would turn out very different indeed with the right materials. It'd be fun to see it um, done with uh, alcohol markers and things, see how it works out. So should I do anything for these background squares? Um, I think I will. I think I'll do some like patterning. So I'm just going to really gently use the pen and do some squiggles. I've done this with fine liners before and I really like it. I think it adds like a really cool effect. I went a bit thick on the bottom there, didn't I? See if I can keep it really thin on the top and then go thicker on the bottom, then like it's like a thing. Yeah. Oh dear. It's a strange old life, isn't it? <laughs> Using art materials that you really don't like. Uh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> right then, what am I going to do with this? Should I do the same thing but different? Like going this way maybe instead? Shall I do that? box is like diagonal isn't it I think I'm gonna do something different I think oh these work really well to do just this the pen is, is not doing anything horrible let's see if I can get a Decent line going this long. Through here. And that one would come through here and go through here. And let's just say that that one would come through here. Hmm. mess isn't it it's just a mess i've made a mess anything else i could do to save it i don't think there's anything i could do to save this page <laughs> right so this is my page i did with my scroller surprise for march i think it's obvious i'm not happy with it <laughs> but you know what i had to go and that's sometimes what you need to do with these materials is have a bit of a go it's not as terrible as I think it is, it's not great. So yeah, that is my attempt at using Scrawler Box in a colouring book for the month of March. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching me on the struggle bus <laughs> and I will see you all soon. Bye!